it is the return of an NRC career again after a two week break, which is really just because I couldn't be bothered to make a video. But oh well. Um, yeah, so the start is we're going to simulate this cupcake against Sheffield. So what comes next in the Barclays Premier League? In third place, should win Chelsea really because entertain fourth place. I'm both shifts because I couldn't be bothered to put Let's a cup squad on because I don't think it would win. Of the FA Cup. Uh, let's see how it goes. Right, so we'll win 2 0. Um, I guess that game out of the way through to I think it's the fifth round. Yeah, I think it's the fifth association or the fourth. Yeah, I believe it is the fifth. Villa, three. Oh, well. Um, one. Okay, so I've got a few messages Almost to delete here. Three. Also, trying Birmingham to play a deadline date. Don't worry, I'm not two, planning on doing City, any business. Two. So, Crystal Palace 2. Yeah, bro, I'm just going to skip this out. Ipswich Town. Nil, um, Millwall 0. Leicester City. It's literally just a case of West Bromwich Albion. Continuously yeah. pressing A Nottingham until he's got rid of the transfer two, deadline day cuz Middlesbrough. I don't two, really like Swindon Town. Transfer nil. deadline day. I never Stanford really do United anything on one, it. One, Liverpool but, 2. Sheffield yeah. Wednesday. Nil. Three hours left to Newcastle go. United. We've almost two. got through Tottenham event three. One. Which is good. Nil. Stoke City. Nil. Hull City. Two. One hour left. Swansea City. Three. Jeez, Nanny two point and Wanderers. Nil. Four five million. West Ham United. Quite a lot of money. Two. Peterborough United. Nil. For one day. Wigan Athletic. But anyway, nil. that's it. Done. Derby County. Two. So on to the, the Stoke City game. At home. EA Sports live coverage so my first game game today and said it's Stoke City at home. Newcastle United um, let's see how this goes. Bojan on the bench today and maybe not a bad what have you got? You might so be first notable highlight was an important very nearly nicking in ahead of Jeff Cameron right and in response falls him from behind with a, with this with a rash tackle. And these red are very bad now. Deserved, I reckon. It's a bad challenge from behind. And so could have a ten at what they have. And then in the 34th minute, we were on the attack. That's Perez plays it to Soko, who scored the first to make it 1 0 against 10 months ago. Way too easy of a goal to score, to be honest. And if we look on the replays here, when Soko is far better than any of us, Keeper should really be doing much, much better than that. But regardless, the next notable highlight is in the 76th minute. Soko again. Near post, scoring. Keeper really wasn't going in the near post awfully well, but it was a duo of near post goals for Soko in this game. Soko without that man so far at least. And it was full time. Um, Manuel Macho would still say is Musa Sissoko for his two goals, general good performance. Um, that was three points. And we were waiting on the Spurs result to see where that had got us. The Spurs result was a 2 1 loss at home at the hands of Arsenal. So on to the next game. We were in the title race lead. So at Palace, we were looking to do the same. And we took the early lead through Perez, the eighth minute. So it was, lo it was all looking good for Newcastle United at Salvador's Cup. The referee's got to manage this. Yeah, well, it's free kicking the 15th minute. It's quite a good thing to do. And when the ball eventually came in, it turned over to the goal. The crowd question the whole goal from there by Yannick Velasco. Common goal scorer, especially not going to say, who's racing down the wing again in the 22nd minute, crossed it in. Not straight into the top corner there. For, well, I believe that's Brenner Hangland. But yeah, cutting to the 90th minute, the game looked dead. We were in big trouble. It looked like we were going to lose our first game in our reign at the top of the table. Soko refused to go up on the ball. He didn't look to have any options, but he takes it past one Palace defender and looked to have a bit of space. Takes it past another and he smashes that one in at the near post. It's a hat trick of near post goals for Sissoko this episode, and he is without a doubt the MVP. Palace didn't have time to score again, so um, once we eventually got the ball back off him, it was full time. They can take callback winning the ball back full time so to get a point there. And we're still waiting to see how Spurs did. See if it'd lose out in any way. 
As a but draw. Spurs suffered a narrow loss, 1-0 at the hands of Liverpool this time. So it's a good episode for us. Uh, thanks for watching, we're at the top of the channel. Like and subscribe.